What's up guys, that's Mr. Green here, and I upload video game content all throughout the week. Whatever I find fun and entertaining, I bring to you guys. So if you enjoy this video, don't forget to show your support and make sure to comment in the section down below. I love reading your stuff. And before I start this video off, I want to say thank you to everyone who gave their input on my Road to 1000 subscriber giveaway video. I was not expecting that much feedback that quick and that fast and frankly it was awesome reading all of your comments and all of your suggestions on what I should do, what I should give you guys for my 1000 subscriber giveaway and I really enjoyed reading it. A lot of you had some really great ideas. The popular ideas so far seem to be a custom gaming controller and that's something that I will really look into that's a great idea and the most popular idea so far is probably the Steam gift card giveaway and a gift card giveaway is something I never really thought of and that's a great idea because I don't have to mail it to you I can just message you the uh, the gift card giveaway of your choice and message you like you know the back of the the numbers the number the code the registration code on the back and that's a great idea so the steam gift card giveaway is what's number one right now what everyone seems to be wanting so I'll keep all those in mind and I'm gonna be checking that video all the time to see all of your comments and updates and feedback and whatnot and if you haven't seen that video there's gonna be an annotation at the top of the screen that shows what that video is all about so please check that out if you haven't seen it already I'm really excited about it so yeah let's move on you're seeing me play Halo. Uh, that's something that I never really planned on putting on my channel. I haven't put a Halo 4 video on my channel yet, but there's a story behind this. And with this story, I want to talk to you guys today about my love for video games, where it all started, why I play video games, why I'm passionate about gaming, and just kind of a little bit about my life in general and uh, why I'm playing Halo 4. So yesterday, as you know, Call of Duty has been really stale as of late to me. I, I do love the game. I'm a huge Call of Duty fan, but Black Ops 2 has just gotten pretty stale, and I've wanted to have fun with something else. So my friend, Face of Spades, he had the idea to go and play Halo 4. It's something that I haven't played since really the week of its release after I beat the campaign. And we decided to hop on last night and play some Halo 4. And I am super stoked that we did because I had a blast. In this gameplay, you're going to see me get a 15 kill streak. That is a running riot medal in Halo 4. And we're playing CTF, Capture the Flag, on some of the new maps. And I'm just having an absolute blast with the game. And while you guys are watching this, I'm going to talk about my gaming life and where I got started and my passion for gaming. So we're going to start off for why I love gaming. I love gaming because it's one of the... I love media. I love entertainment. Anything that entertains me. I love movies. I love TV shows. I love games. I love anything that tells a story, a good book. And I think games are my favorite form of media because they're interactive and you get a really good story. I love games with a good story. Halos have a really good story. You know, the Final Fantasy games, uh, Zelda games, uh, more uh, in-depth, kind of more in indie titles like uh, the, the uh, Heavy Rain game that came out for PS3. Just I love storytelling in games and I'm a big competitive person. That's why I play multiplayer games. So when did I start with gaming? I started gaming at the young age of probably, I want to say around five years old. I used to sit down and watch my older brother play Super Mario Brothers nonstop. I would sit on his bed while he's playing Super Mario Brothers and just soak in all the awesomeness that was Mario back in the day. And I would like to say that my very first game that I really got into that introduced me to gaming as a whole was the Zelda The Ocarina of Time for the N64. That was probably the very first game I ever beat. It, I loved it. I think I beat that game at the age of seven years old and I didn't really have any help. I just played the game all the way through and, 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 and it was awesome. I did have a strategy guide at the age of seven. So I don't really think you could beat that game at the age of seven without a strategy guide. So I did have a strategy guide. But the point is, that game is what got me into gaming. From there, I went on to games like GoldenEye, Banjo-Kazooie, you know, the Mario 64, Star Fox, uh, even, even up to Resident Evil's on PlayStation, you know, that kind of deal. So that game really kicked off gaming to me. And I think it's important for my generation, my age, because that's a game that kicked off a lot of people's gaming experience for them. A lot of people started with Zelda, with the Mario, so they are really important to me to this day. Even though I don't play a whole lot of Nintendo games anymore, they are still really dear to my heart, and I try to play every Zelda game that comes out. So yeah, that's where I started. I'm going to talk about my favorite childhood games, and I kind of listed some of those off. Those include Zelda Ocarina of Time, of course, GoldenEye, 
for the uh, N64 was that game not the coolest game when it came out. It felt like it was so far ahead of its time. And I remember playing split screen with my dad when I was probably like seven or eight years old. And uh, I don't know if he let me beat him, if he let me win, I'm not sure, but I would beat him all the time and it would just, it was, it was awesome. It was a cool experience. And I know some of my favorite games was Banjo-Kazooie on the N64. I still really haven't played a game like Banjo-Kazooie. I think it's unique. It was a whole lot of fun and a great game. And let's talk about my multiplayer start because that's what my channel has kind of been revolving around here as of late. Even though I do plan on bringing you a bunch of walkthroughs in the month of March and I'm super excited about starting with Tomb Raider on the 5th. But yeah, multiplayer is is a huge love and passion for me because I love winning. I love competitive games. I love teamwork. I love uh, playing a game with other friends and having a blast doing so, which is why I really enjoyed Halo, playing Halo, because we got in this game with these random group of guys, and they were awesome, did a lot of teamwork, had a ton of fun. But my multiplayer start, my online multiplayer start, started with Counter-Strike, guys. And if you do not know what Counter-Strike is, it is a... It is actually a, you know, a full-fledged game now made by Valve, but it started as a mod for a game called Half-Life. It came out on PC when I was around 7 or 8 years old, and it took off. It really launched the online first-person shooter genre for PC, and I played the game all the time when I was like 7 or 8. I mean, I loved that game. I got really good at it at a young age, and that's kind of where my online first-person shooter career kind of started. Uh, I, start, I started being competitive at a very young age. At age 8, years old I wasn't going around doing normal eight years old stuff on video games I was really competitive I tried to win and I loved you know winning I loved doing well in multiplayer and it started at a really young age for me so yeah at eight years old I wasn't doing the normal eight years old stuff you know running around yelling at people and being annoying I just kind of kept my mouth shut and played to win a lot of people actually that I played with at the time didn't know I was so young so yeah there's that and I want to move on to where I got into my console multiplayer gaming because I was a PC gamer for a while because my dad is a hardcore PC gamer so where I got into my my uh, hardcore console gaming was actually Halo 2 I think we all remember when Halo 2 came out it felt way ahead of its time it really helped launch the Xbox and it was a ton of fun I mean that game was a blast and Halo has carried on the tradition to this day uh, had a blast last night playing Halo 4 it just really introduced teamwork on a console level that wasn't ever introduced or brought to the consoles before Halo. I mean, Halo really brought teamwork, everyone talking to, talking and working together on a microphone and just having a complete blast. And yeah, so I played Halo 2. Oh, man, how old was I when Halo 2 came out? I want to say 13 or 14. I want to say I was 13 or 14 years old when that game came out, and it was a blast. It was just fun to play. I was really competitive, so Halo really fit my competitive play style. So moving on, COD 4 Modern Warfare was the next game that I got into. And as of course, I'm a huge Call of Duty fan. You guys know I put a ton of Call of Duty commentaries up on my channel. So yeah, that game really launched it. And where am I now with gaming? Uh, I love gaming. I try to play every major title I can. As you'll see in the upcoming month of March, I'm going to be playing a ton of games, bringing you them to you guys so i'm really excited for my channel this march make sure you tune in for all the crazy madness that's going to be going on this march and yeah i'm going to be wrapping up this video i really hope you guys enjoyed me talking about my past childhood and stuff like that if you did enjoy please hit that like button you guys have no idea how much it helps out and comment i love reading your comments anyway i'm mr green catch you later